Please come with me. Welcome to my YouTube. If this is your very first time here, my name is Britt and I decided to make this more of like a come along with me vlog video and I'm so excited. I am going to be going to San Diego for a few days with my mom. Super, super random trip because I'm going wedding dress shopping. Yay! haven't been before and I'm really really excited I literally haven't even started looking at wedding dresses yet but I've been engaged for um over a year we got engaged last June I just keep getting more and more and more questions because people are like you guys have been engaged for a while now huh like when's the date or whatever and I'm like I have no idea I literally haven't even started thinking about that because I've been so focused on things like this that really just feed me creatively and make me forget that I'm gonna get married. <laughs> I think that this is something important to note on because I think there can be a lot of pressure from people whenever friends get engaged. So if you are dealing with the same thing that I'm talking about, please, please let me know. I can use all the support that I can get. I feel like I haven't really been wanting to put very much time or effort into planning a wedding because I just don't want it to be stressful at all. And I guess that's a little bit of a backwards way of thinking and I'm just realizing it right now because I'm kind of setting up for it to be a stressful situation by telling myself that I don't want it to be a certain way instead of just starting to plan a wedding. That's a good little example of how someone like me, how someone who's a little bit prone to having anxiety or being a perfectionist or just wanting to make sure that everything is done like the right way. That's a little tidbit of understanding for you guys. So please come with me if you're interested to San Diego. I'm going to be shopping at Beholden's sample sale. Beholden is like the sister company of Urban Outfitters Free People Anthropology Beholden. They just have a lot of really like vintage inspired bohemian and I am just really really excited to go and see if I can find the dress. I think a big reason that I'm drawn to this sample sale is because the dresses priced up to $3,600 are just going to be at three price points. One, two, and three hundred dollars. So I'm like 95% off savings. I'm trying to spend as little as I can anyways. I might as well get out there. Another thing on low budget weddings, because I know that more and more people are not resonating with the traditional wedding and are just feeling like they want it to be a way more intimate thing because unless you want that really big wedding and like a bajillion friends and family there, for someone like me, I like have a very, very close intimate group of friends that I really share like all of my heart and soul with and like my friends and family. That's, that's really all the people that I want to be seeing. So yeah, please come with me. Before I get going, if you haven't subscribed to any of my other social media and you're digging this vibe, my social handles are right here. I'm very excited for this trip because I'm taking it with my mom and I feel like it's going to be a really, really great bonding experience for us. Uh, my mom is the kind of person, she's like from a small town in New Mexico and she still kind of lives with that vibe out here and she's been saying for years like, oh, California, oh my gosh, if I could just go to California. And I'm like, okay, let's go to California. Like for me, it's not that, that big a deal to just like jump in a car and go out of town. I go out of town on small trips all the time. And for her, it's like, oh, she's been like waiting for this for years. So I'm really excited. She's only stepped foot in the ocean one time in her life. So I'm gonna hope to maybe like double her experiences. Thank you guys so, so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to so you don't miss any of my upcoming stuff. Let's get to San Diego. So my mom just got here. Say hi, YouTube. Photo bomb. YouTube. Photo bomb. <laughs> uh, we're just packing up the car now, but we're gonna get on our way, so yay. Look at my girlfriend's cute, 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 cute little house. 
So I'm staying at my girlfriend Jessica's house. She is, that's not her kitty. That's her roommate's kitty, hi huh, kitty, yeah. But yeah, she has graciously offered for us to stay at her house. And she makes all this ceramic cute stuff all over the house. So we are just going to get ready. I'm going to try to make some appointments for a bridal shop today. Yesterday was pretty fruitless. Uh, the whole reason that I drove down here was to go to Beholden and when I showed up they were like, oh yeah, we only started with 40 gowns and it was day two of their sample sale and they didn't have anything even near my size left. I have been finding some bridal shops out here, so I'm gonna wait until they open. It's 9.01 right now, so I'm gonna start calling them and yeah, I'll keep you guys in the loop. <laughs> What is this one? These are the sauces. I had a shoot last night. Look, it's 1234, angel number time. Uh, I had a shoot last night that was only like 20 minutes, but it got such amazing shots in that time. Okay, I'm gonna chow down. Bye-bye. This wrap is like blackened fish. It's tempeh. And the Caesar dressing is to die for. There's like coconut bacon, avocado, like all kinds of goodness in here. Just running out of excuses to continue eating animals. So we just finished eating and now we're gonna go to some bridal shops even though I'm not gonna be able to try anything on because I didn't know that I was supposed to make appointments. But we're gonna pray that the Lord will open doors that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. This just shows how new I am to the whole bridal game because I had no idea that I was gonna have to have appointments. Everyone who's been married is probably like, ha, 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 ha. That's the first thing you have to know, but you know, it just shows what a rookie I am. Let's go, let's keep on keeping on. So we are here at the Dress Theory, and we don't have an appointment. <laughs> How come nobody told me that I'm supposed to have like appointments to go see bridal dresses, even just to look at them? And I'm so sad because I just, if I would have like educated myself a little bit better, I would have had like such a better San Diego trip. But now I'm just coming out here like, oh, maybe we're just supposed to spend the day at the beach, mom. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. That's what I'm saying. Get some wine or something. Yeah. <laughs> Get the whole day. Yeah, we just came in here and like started looking at some of the dresses and she was like, no, no, they're like private appointment only. So we can't even like look at any of the dresses. But it's our fault because I didn't know. But it's so, this whole little bridal shop is like in a freaking cottage. Cute inside. Oh my gosh. like. Everything about the decoration is so cute. Even the cute like rug, what the hey. <laughs> so this is a learning process for me and I'm happy to share it with you guys, but I really thought that I was gonna be able to try on some freaking dresses driving here from Vegas. <laughs> yeah, but big bridal store is not my jam though. Spam. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to Rhiannon? We're sitting there going, what are we going to do now? Rhiannon, oh, tell, me, tell me what you just said one more time. We had a bride cancel last minute. 
<laughs> we just came in. I was outside recording like, guys, they couldn't they couldn't see me today. But I now, I here. Like, but now we get to go inside for a bridal appointment. Let's go. I was clipping I my nails. Oh, that's so cute. I even like, actually like your, your belly somewhat showing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do too. That's why I think it's so cute. Yeah, I like that. Get the little obliques in there. <laughs> yeah, I really, really like this. Can we do, try it with a little veil too? Yeah, this one works. It's still the long one. It works perfect because it just kind of disappears into the bottom of the dress. Whenever I visited Grandma Tita a few weeks ago, Mom, I tried on that necklace again, remember? Mm -hmm. Where does it hit you on your I chest? I want to say it's like here. Do you have any kind of like tank top? That one definitely highlights your shoulders front and back. You like the big poofiness about it? I really kind of do, but I like how it's not overbearing. Okay, you want to change it? Have you sent any to daddy yet in dresses? No. You got to make him cry and send him one. And sister too. Oh yeah, that one's really pretty too. Especially if you have a necklace that you're wearing with it. Yeah. Yeah, the necklace would look beautiful with that neckline. I mean, you can have some fun and wear like a modern tiara, you know? It's kind of cool. <laughs> I love the way you I was just like this super calm feeling kind of swept over me and I was just like oh this is so beautiful and I was asking like I feel like this is too easy because I didn't have like the flood of tears or anything that I, I know a lot of people do get but I think that I when I really see something that I just know that I love so much it's kind of a different feeling yeah, I'm so happy to share this with you guys. And it's so much fun that I wound up working out. And it's so fun because at Spirit Weavers was the first time that I met someone named Rhiannon. and she was the deaf hypnotherapist. And since then I've met like four Rhiannons and Rhiannon was our salon stylist today. So I was like, oh man. <sighs> what do you guys think? Any San Diego vegan restaurant suggestions for me, especially for a celebration? Pretty sure I found my dress today. Ah! Of course, it's like double the budget that I originally had in mind, but you know, where there's a will, there's a way, and I'm only gonna get married once. You're not a hat girl when you don't get a hat, girl. <laughs> We're hat girls now. Ow, oh, ow, I stepped on something. Hi, guys. So I don't know how the audio is going to be on this, but I just wanted to say that I'm so excited right now because I'm here with my mom and I know that she wouldn't normally be doing something like this if I weren't encouraging her to move forward. And I'm so proud of her because like, I just can't even believe that she's doing this right now. <laughs> All so that we can get down to that beach. Um, I have another shoot here. I shot with someone earlier uh, on this trip yesterday. Ooh, look at these seagulls. We had so much fun yesterday that we're doing it again today. Wait, oh, there they are. Wait, where 
are they? There they are. There they are. <laughs> just as a little tidbit, I'm so excited. Look how beautiful. Water, ocean, yes. Yay for new things. My mom's been telling me on this trip, like, this has been so fun. I've been doing so many new things. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Usually at home I'm like, come on, let's go do new things. And she's like, no, I can't. So this is a good trip. And I found my dress today. Ah! <gasps> More seagulls. Where are they at? There they are. Birds. Hi, Poopy. Hi, Poopy. I better go help her. She's almost down. I'm so proud of her. that understood um, by many people. How could it be like I'm having my own personal experience from my own personal life and have a family with religious backgrounds and when my beliefs don't align with theirs, they kind of don't know what they can believe and what they can't. With this kind of stuff, I personally have to surrender and um, just allow for experience to happen. And yesterday, experience happened. We were placed in a life-threatening situation and it was after like the best day ever and two literal angels stepped in to help us in the flesh. Both her and I had been seeing numbers all day long. Um, I was seeing 333, 444, and sevens and ones all day. 7117 was everywhere yesterday. My mom is like the super, super spirit side of my family. I think that's where I got it from. But she's Christian. And, you know, when I don't call Jesus Christ my Lord and Savior, she doesn't know whether, like, whether my stuff holds any. But our beliefs in God are the same. Kind of, not really. Hers in a religious aspect. But anyway, um, yeah, there's no denying the experience we had yesterday, and it's gonna be up on YouTube soon. Mine and my mom's retelling of what happened today. On another note, I don't wanna leave. The weather is so beautiful, and I just haven't been to San Diego in so long, and I hardly got to do anything. We we're so busy the entire time, but it was the greatest trip ever.